all, welcome back to Ukulele Wine Time. It's time again for a combo challenge. Ukulele Wine Time. What is a combo challenge? That's where we work it out between two different chords or more. I don't know, who knows? It's a combo challenge. We get challenged and it's awesome. You can grab your wine if you'd like. Mm -hmm. mm. Not mandatory. Um, so today's combo challenge, we're doing an F chord to a G chord. That's our combo challenge. Let's briefly review both of those chords. Very useful on the ukulele. First up, we've got our F chord. Cool, so we've got our P sign fingers here or fingers one and two on the ukulele. So I'll start, I'll start with my pointer finger on the first fret, one, two, three, so first fret up here on the one, two, three, third string down. Okay, and then my next finger is gonna go on my top string relative to your bass <laughs> on the second fret, one, two. Okay, and there's a string in between those. That's your F chord. Okay, so check that out, make sure, make sure you're in tune, are you in tune? Better go tune that thing. Okay, and then come back for this combo challenge. Okay, so we've got our F chord, then we're gonna go to our G chord, totally different shape, right? So this can be really challenging for a lot of people um, that are just starting the ukulele. G is such a useful chord and it can be a bit challenging, hence our combo challenge. So first of all, there's our G chord and it makes a little triangle on the fretboard. So with the point being down here and the flat part at the top. Okay, so again, I've got my P sign fingers. Both of these are on the second fret with a string in between. Okay, and then my ring finger goes on the third fret. So our frets are one, two, three. So we're hanging out here, P sign fingers, second fret this finger goes down there. Okay, so there's our G chord. Woo! So we've got F and we've got G. Cool? Now, check out our combo challenge for today. First up, we're just gonna start super, super simple. We're just gonna do four counts on each chord. Gonna hold it on F, hold it on G. We're gonna go back and forth a couple times. Let's do it. Starting with F. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. F, two, three, four. G, two, three. Back to F. F, two, three, four. G, two, three. Two more times. F, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. How'd you do? Did you nail it? You nailed it. Um, I don't know if you can hear this in the video, but I'm actually keeping time with my foot. That's a great idea to just help you, again, internalize that beat so you can play more songs, learn more songs, play with other people, just on your way to being an awesome musician. Cool. So that was our first challenge, F to G. Now let's do uh, two counts on each chord. So we're gonna speed it up a little bit. So we're gonna go F, two, G, two. F, two, G, two. Ready? You're ready. One, two, ready, go. F, two, G, two. 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 You know what? That was a little fast. I think we should slow it down. If you nailed that, good for you, you're amazing. If you didn't, no worries because that was super fast. So let's slow it down just a little bit. Catherine, we need to slow it down. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna slow my roll, I'm gonna slow down my tempo or my rhythm. So we're gonna do, let's see, what feels good? Does that feel better? Ah, uh, let's try that. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. F, two, G, two. 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 F, two
to G. F, G. A couple more times. F, two. G, two. F, two. G, two. Woo! Okay, that felt better. That felt a little better. Okay, we are ready for the last part of our combo challenge. We're gonna do our strumming pattern with our F and our G chord. Um, a quick note before we jump into this last part, when you're transitioning between those chords, so you've got your chords in your left hand that you're worrying about, you got your strumming pattern in your right hand. So for this one, we're doing down, down, up, up, down, up. That last little up, I give you permission there to start transitioning to your next chord, even if it's open strings, and it totally can be open strings. So here's a slowed down version of what, what I mean by that. Down, up, up, down, move down, down, up, up, down, move down, down, up, up, down, move down. Cool. That makes sense? So, and something to think about for, for all of your chord transitions. So I hope that clicks for you, just kind of really thinking again, um, really thinking ahead to the next chord, giving your fingers enough time to land your next chord there. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit for us. Here we go, one, two, one, two, F chord. How'd you do? Cool. So if you are having a little bit of trouble switching between your F and your G chord, this is a great video to come back to. You can do it for like five minutes a day, um, do like a whole week of this and you will be golden with your F and your G chord. If this video was helpful to you, please cheers the like button below. Thank you. I appreciate that. Cheers to you and I will see you very soon. Ukulele wine time.